What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech and more reviews. And if you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're up to today. We're gonna to be connecting the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to the iPad. Finally, it's here. So let's check it out. PS5 controller right here. Now there are a few things that you're going to need to do uh, before you actually can connect this. First off, you gotta recognize what buttons you need to hold down to put this in pairing mode. So first off, the PS button and the create button, which was formerly the share button, those are the two you're gonna have to hold down to put this in a pairing mode. So before we do that, let's go into the Bluetooth settings. So we're in the Bluetooth settings. You're gonna just hold down these two buttons and watch the controller. It'll actually start to flicker with those blue lights. You can see them. And down at the bottom here, DualSense wireless controller. You get the white ambient light and then it goes amber on the inside. So we are now fully connected to the iPad and we are ready to enjoy different types of gaming. All right, so one of my favorite games to play handles are really good. So let's check this thing out. All right, so I'm steering. So you got your boost right there. Okay. You can actually drift. All right, so there are no rumble features on here. It's not vibrating any, so keep that in mind when you're connecting this controller. But handles are really solid, and it gives you the actual buttons that you should press to make things happen. So right there, missiles are gonna be square. It told me boost was X, and boost actually activates your drift while you're playing this game. So pretty good handles, uh, feels really good in the hand, and I've been waiting to use this controller with this actual system. Let's try out another game. So this game is Fallen Knight. It takes its toll from the um, 90s classic type game, side scroll game of like Mega Man. Pretty much you're, you're gonna be playing as a knight and you have different abilities. So, so like I said, 2D side scroller in like a 3D model, but similar to your Mega Man. So if you play Mega Man before, this is probably something that you'll be pretty familiar with. So controls are really nice. Like there's no lag in what I'm inputting versus what actually happens on the screen. I'm, I'm a little rusty at games like this, but all right. So feels good, looks good, everything works. The, remember, there's no vibration on this though. All right, so one of my favorite games to play on my iPad, this is Asphalt 9 Legends. Let's check it out and see how the actual gameplay is gonna work with this controller. Okay, so there was no input lag on there. Everything really worked well and I had no issues playing it. So just remember there's still no vibration with these games on this controller. Keep that in mind because people are gonna ask questions. No vibration, but the handles are really good. Everything plays well. There are no issues with this controller on Asphalt 9. And one of my favorite things to do on this device is play old school gaming. Now, every now and then Apple will allow us to download these types of emulators and I actually took advantage of this so let's go so basically what is gonna happen is if this video gets enough views I'll show you guys how to actually put this on your iPad I've done tutorials before and those tutorials will remain the same but this is a new iPad first time I did it it was on my 11 inch pro but um yeah if you guys are interested after I, you know, do this, 
let me know in the comment section and I can actually put a video together showing you how to put this on your iPad. Uh, like a, a full disclaimer, it may only work for just a little while because normally when Apple finds out about this kind of thing, they put patches out and it will not let you put this stuff on your iPad, which is crazy. Um, I feel like more people would buy these devices if Apple would allow you to customize it more, which I know people may be saying this is bad for your device and all this stuff and bugs and viruses. And I've done this, I don't know how many times and I've never had any issues out of my device. So just keep that in mind. Every time Apple allows me, I check it like every other month. Every time Apple allows me to put this stuff on my device, I take that chance. These are some of the best games that ever came out. And I think everyone should really get a chance to play them. Like simple, classic games. I think we need more of that. Here we go. Low score, but there we go. It is working. You can use it. And this emulator will work with your uh, PlayStation 5 controller. So there you have it, PS5 DualSense controller right here working on the iPad. It doesn't do anything on the home screen, just to show you. No mouse, no effects, no nothing. But it will work with your video games. A bunch of the games in Apple Arcade are actually compatible. A uh, majority of the games in Apple Arcade are compatible, but you can keep that in mind. I've done a full review on this controller. I do. I still, as of yet, do not have a PS5. I know, shame on me for not pre-ordering, but once I do get the PS5, I'll still be able to enjoy this controller on multiple platforms. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. It's only available on iOS 14.5. I downloaded the beta version of that and I was able to get this. So if you do have the beta version 14.5, it will allow you to connect this controller. And if you don't, just wait on 14.5 and you will get access to this controller right here. So this is part one of the video. Uh, keeping that in mind, part two features this, the brand new Xbox controller. So we'll talk about how to connect this and how this actually works with your iPad as well. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.